Good evening, everyone here. And out there on the internet, my name is Franz von Holzhausen. I lead the design team here at Tesla. And I'm excited to welcome you to the Tesla Design Studio here in Hawthorne, California. We are here tonight to talk about Model 3. But we wouldn't be here without years of intense drive and passion from the Tesla team and leadership on an unwavering mission. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of my colleagues here at Tesla, it is my honor to welcome to the stage Mr. Elon Musk. <laughs> all right. Well, 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 welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to the Model 3 unveil. Uh, we, have, <laughs> we have an amazing product to show you tonight. I think you're going to be blown away. Um, and, uh, but I, I want to start talking, just, just preface this by talking about why, why are we doing this? Why is Tesla, uh, why does Tesla exist? Why, why are we making electric cars? Uh, why does it matter? Um, and it's because it's very important to accelerate the transition to sustainable transport. It really, really, really is, it, I mean, this is, this is really important for the future of the world. Uh, we, we have record high CO2 levels. We, we recently passed over four, 403 parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere. You can see the chart, and it, it looks like a vertical line. And it's still climbing. And the last time uh, it, it, there, were, there was this level of carbon concentration was 11 million years ago. Okay, that was approximately when primates started walking upright. <laughs> it, the, the world was very different. <laughs> we do not want to return to that situation. And, and what that CO2 increase results in is a steadily increasing temperature. So we've already increased by two degrees. In fact, that doesn't tell the whole story because the extremes of temperature increased by as much as 20 degrees. And that line is, is gonna keep going for some time into the future. It's really important. It makes a difference if we accelerate the transition to sustainable transport. And beyond, the, beyond global warming, there's just the fact that combustion cars emit toxic gases. And according to an MIT study, there, there are 53,000 deaths per year in the US alone from auto emissions. So it, it stands to reason that if, if, a, if, if a vehicle is spewing toxic gas, that's obviously bad for your health. Um, and so to, to address this, what we came up with the Tesla was what we call the secret master plan. Yeah. So, so this, this, this is the, the first blog that I, that I ever wrote for the company. And uh, it was originally um, a, a three-step, uh, it was originally a trilogy, now it's a four-part trilogy, as it turns out. Um, but it, it needed to, we, we needed to figure out how could we, as a, as a tiny company with very few resources, uh, actually make a difference. And the, the only way to do this was to start small, to start with a, a low-volume car, which is why we started with the, the Tesla Roadster. So it, with any new technology, it takes multiple iterations before you, and multiple iterations, and it takes economies of scale before you can make it, make it great and affordable. So step one was, was, was the Roadster. The Roadster was high price and, and low volume, um, but what, where, where it really made a difference was that it showed people that you, it showed the world that you could make a compelling electric car. You could make a great electric car. What was, what was unique about the Roadster was it was the first really great electric car. Uh, and before the Roadster, people thought an electric car would be, would be slow and ugly and low range and have bad performance. And we had to break that mold. It was incredibly important to, to show that that wasn't true. Um, and so we, we made the Roadster, which is fast, it's beautiful, it's great, great performance. For those of you who, who bought the Roadster, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um, it was, and, and we only made 500 units a year, because that's all, all we really could make uh, for, for, for the Roadster. But it had a very leveraged effect. Um, in fact, uh, Bob Lutz, the vice, former vice chairman of GM, actually credits the Roadster with uh, the Chevy Volt program, um, which led, then led to the Nissan Leaf program, 
And really, even though we were making very few cars, uh, it actually had a, a, quite a huge leverage effect on the auto industry. But there was still uh, a, a lot more to do. And a lot of people said, well, the Roadster is nice, but it's sort of a toy and it's very expensive. And you couldn't really make a car that people would use every day uh, or a car that could really compete against the great combustion sedans of the world. So we said, OK, we're going to make the Model S. So, <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> Do it again. So, so the Model S, um, any, any of you uh, drive a Model S? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, so um, then you know, it, it's, 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 a great, it's a great sedan. Um, uh, it, ha it can seat up to seven people, five adults and two kids. Um, it's uh, tested by Road and & Track and, and Motor Trend and others as the, uh, the fastest four-door car in history ever. Um, and uh, it, it's got great handling, it's got great technology, um, it's got uh, things like autopilot, and, uh, and it, it really, it, it, it was rated by, um, by almost every group as, as, the, um, as the best car in its year, and by Consumer Reports as the best car ever. Woo! Yeah. And again, it was, it was super, it, the reason for that is, is, is not just to, to, to achieve some superlative in cars, but to, to show what an electric car can do. Because nobody believed that an electric car could do this. So what was really important was, was to, to show, the, the reason it was, was important was not, not to achieve you know, awards or anything like that. It was to just show the car industry, show the world, that an electric car really can be the best car. That, that's what really, really mattered. And now, for, for cars, about half the market wants a sedan and about half the market wants an SUV. So we thought, well, uh, we'll extend the, the Model S platform into the Model X. <laughs> now, the, both of these are, are, are very important because the revenue from the Model S and the X is what's needed to develop the Model 3. So the Model 3, with very high volume, um, and, and all the engineering needed to achieve the, the cost reductions and the capabilities, it cost billions of dollars. So the S and the X are what pay for that Model 3 development. So I just want to say, for all of you who've, who've bought an, an S or an X, thank you for helping pay for the Model 3. <laughs> so the Model 3 is, is, is happening because of, because of you. And so we actually have an S and an X uh, on the side there, and um, has, of course, the Falconwig doors, uh, which uh, did, did cause us some challenges, uh, but uh, <laughs> now, now they're working. So um, now, then going from the, the, the S and the X, we finally come to, we come to, to, to step three, or the, fi the final step in the, in the master plan, which is, a mass market, affordable, affordable car. Um, it was only possible to do that after going through the prior steps. Uh, but, we're, but we're here, and we're here to show that to you tonight. Woo! So. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe some of the, the aspects of the Model 3. And then, we'll, and, and then, and we'll, yeah, so let's, let's move to describing. <laughs> well, so let's, let's show the master plan again. <laughs> okay, so that's the master plan with, with steps two and 2.5. And, <laughs> and now going to, to, to the Model 3. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by saying the Model 3 is going to be an incredibly safe car. Um, we really believe at Tesla that safety has to come first. We, we care about you. We want you to be safe. We want your friends and family to be safe. This is paramount. The Model 3 will be, not just be five-star on average, it'll be five-star in every category. <laughs> and e even, the base model of, e even the base Model 3 will do zero to 60 miles an hour or zero to 100 kilometers an hour in less than six seconds. At Tesla, we don't, we don't make slow cars. <laughs> okay, just, uh, uh, 
And, and of course, there will be versions of the Model 3 that go much faster. <laughs> and in terms of range, the, the range will be at least an EPA rating of 215 miles. I want to emphasize these are minimum numbers. We, we hope to exceed them. Yeah. It will also, uh, all Model 3s will come standard with autopilot hardware. And all the autopilot safety features will be present in, in every car. That you, don't, you won't need to buy an option. The autopilot safety features will always be there. So. The, the Model 3 also fits five adults comfortably. Now, now comfortably is the important part here. <laughs> okay. um, but the challenge, obviously, with building a smaller car is how do you, how do you still make it comfortable with a bunch of people inside? So, there, there, there are two important uh, design steps we did with the Model 3 to achieve that. One was to move uh, the instrument panel or the firewall. There really isn't a firewall. <laughs> so you don't have a big combustion engine in front. We, we moved the front seats forward and compressed the, the instrument panel. When you, when you do your uh, rides tonight, you'll see what I mean. The, the, you're sitting a little further forward. It actually feels great um, on the front seats. That's what gives, gives you the leg room uh, to have five adults. And so that your first and second row have plenty of leg, leg room. Then on, on the, the, the rear uh, roof area is actually one continuous pane of glass. Um, and that, 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 the reason that that's great is because it gives you amazing headroom and a feeling of openness. So it, it, it has, I think, by far it, the best feeling, best uh, roominess of any car in this size. Then, then in addition, it has, just, just like the Model S, it has a front and rear trunks. So. Uh, you, you can, it, it has more cargo capacity than any uh, gasoline car of the same external dimensions. And, yeah. And uh, <laughs> you, you can actually, uh, somebody asked me this question recently, um, is uh, can you fit a seven foot long surfboard on the inside? The answer is yes, you can. <laughs> then with respect to supercharging, uh, all Model 3s will come with supercharging standard. So, so the reason supercharging is very important, as, as many of you know, is that it gives you freedom of travel. Okay? It means you can conveniently go where you want, where you want, how you want. Uh, and a lot about having a car is it's about freedom. It's about do, going where you want to go. And and so the, the superchargers are critical to that. So we, we're now at the point where we've built out over 3,600 superchargers worldwide. And about the, same number, about the same number of destination chargers. That's present day. By the end of next year, we will double the number of superchargers. And, and quadruple the number of destination charges. So you will be able to go virtually anywhere. And in fact, because the onboard charge of the Model S is able to adapt to any country's voltage and amperage, wherever you go in the world, if there's electricity, you can charge. <laughs> so. So, so then what about buying and servicing? So where we are today with Tesla is we've got 215 locations um, in Asia, North America, and Europe. And uh, by the end of next year, we expect to more than double that to 441 locations. Wow. So wow. The, the, the key point being, it, no, almost no matter where you are in North America, uh, Europe, or Asia, you'll, if, if you're in any, near any even mid-sized metro area, you'll be able to buy a car and get your car serviced. So. Now, how are we gonna make these cars? Okay, good, good question. <laughs> um, we need to achieve high volume production. So this is in, this is in two parts. First, there is the vehicle factory. So the, the, our, our Fremont factory uh, in the past has actually made uh, almost 500,000 cars a year. Um, so we're confident that, we can, that Tesla can achieve that number in the future in terms of vehicle production. Uh, so I think, I think that's, that's going to be um, 
wouldn't say straightforward, but uh, very doable. <laughs> um, and, and then what about, what about batteries? Um, because in order to produce half a million cars a year, uh, we would actually need the, the same battery production. We, we basically need to absorb the entire world's lithium ion production. That, that's why we are building the Gigafactory. This, these are the recent pictures of the, of the, the Gigafactory. Um, th this is a vital element. So to give you a sense of scale, the Gigafactory will actually have the largest footprint of any building of any kind. Okay. <laughs> Volumetrically, it will only be second to the Boeing factory in Washington. Wow. So th this is really quite an enormous facility. Um, it, 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 in fact, uh, it will it'll produce more lithium-ion batteries than all other factories in the world combined. <laughs> There's one location. So we're talking about 50, 50 gigawatt hours a year of, of, of production. Um, and it, it won't just be at that volume, but also be producing the most advanced cell and battery in the world. So it's the combination of high volume with the most advanced technology is what ena enables us to make the Model 3. And um, we already, it's, it's already operational today. So. so when, when are deliveries? Well, they're next year. So. So I, I, I do feel fairly confident that it will be next year. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then in terms of price, well, of course, it'll be $35,000. And, and I want to emphasize, I want to emphasize that the, the, even if you buy no options at all, this will still be an amazing car. You will not be able to buy a better car for $35,000 or even close, even if you, if you get no options. So it's, it's, it's a really good car even with no options. So do, do you want to see the car? Yeah! Well, we, we don't have it for you tonight. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> it's, it's April Fool somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's bring him out. <laughs>